What's going on guys? Ginger on Wheels here again. Today we get to answer a burning question in the electric vehicle community, no pun intended. How much power is too much power to charge your electric device? I'm sure you guys have seen people going around on the internet spouting these rules for batteries. You should never charge them over 80%. You should never discharge them over 20%. You should always store them around 50% battery and you should never charge over five amps and all, this, all these technical rules. But do they really matter? As you guys might know, the stock charger that comes with this scooter, it's 1.75 amps, and that's considered a safe stock charging speed. But that wasn't fast enough. Many electric vehicles have two charging ports in them so that you can plug two stock chargers in and you can charge your device up twice as fast. But is that safe? They also sell fast chargers for your device that oftentimes will charge your scooter twice as fast as stock just from one charging port. So does that mean that you can actually plug in 10 amps of charging power? That's the question. Now, of course, it varies based on battery. I need to explain something to you before we get started. And that is how each battery is composed. So the batteries you've seen, I'm sure, are big, huge blue block batteries, right? But those big blue block batteries are composed up of a bunch of tiny little cells. And those cells are wired in series and in parallel inside your big battery. So in this scooter, I have 10 parallel strings with 16 batteries in series each. So if I plugged 10 amps of charging power into this scooter, I would be getting one amp per parallel line, if that makes sense. I hope it does. So I'm only gonna be doing this test on the Cabo Wolf Warrior, but it will translate to other devices because you can figure out how many amps are going to each parallel string in your battery. All you need to do is research how many cells you have in series and how many cells you have in parallel, and then divide the number of input amps by the number of parallel lines. Does that make sense? So if I plug 10 amps of charging power into this scooter, I'm gonna be getting one amp per parallel line. So that's what we're measuring today. How hot will a string of batteries get if it's being charged at one amp? If I have, a, if I have two stock chargers, that's 3.5 amps, and I divide that by 10 parallel lines, that means I'm getting 0.35 amps per line each. And that's the max you can get with the stock chargers. So we're charging three times that fast on all the cells, and we're gonna see how hot it gets. So in order to test that, we need to go home where the chargers are and the gun is and run this little experiment. What do you say? So I'm at my house, that's the Cabo Wolf. I just went for a ride, very high speed. Pointing the uh, infrared laser at the bottom of the deck yields. Okay, so 78 degrees on the bottom of the deck. I thought it was important to remind everybody while I'm taking these off that when you put them back on, remember to use blue Loctite. I had some of these that were loose in the deck even though they had Loctite on them. So imagine if I didn't. All right, here's the inside of the Wolf Warrior substantially cleaner wiring than any other scooter I've seen. I've never actually popped the top off this bad boy. So some important math to note. On this battery, this scooter, is 60 volts. And you can see on the sticker here it says 16S10P. And what that means is we've got 16 cells in series and 10 in parallel. So there's 10 parallel packs in here that are all getting charged by 10 amps, which means we have one amp per pack. Those are the parameters under which I'm testing the temperature right now. So like I said, I just got back from a ride like 10 minutes ago. Temperature on the battery is 86 degrees, 87, maybe a little warmer on the controllers. Okay, so this is a five amp fast charger. All you do is plug them into the wall and they boot up. So we'll pop open one of the charging ports and plug in the fast charger. And you can hear the fan kick on on this thing. And I've switched the output to max, so it's outputting five amps. Current charge in the scooter is 57 volts. So I'm gonna plug in both chargers. I've got two of these fast chargers. 
Okay, got both the fast chargers plugged in. They're both turned on to five amps. Current charge in the scooter is 57.9 volts. Temperature just now, first starting, uh, 70, 76 or 77. It's getting cooler than when I first started. Battery is still at 85. So rumor has it, anything above 120 degrees is potentially degrading your battery and the in, and or the internal electronics. So I'm going to monitor this over the next few hours as the Wolf Warrior slowly charges up. And if it gets above 100 degrees, I'll turn the camera back on and let you know. Okay, so it's 8.30 p.m. I've been charging for about an hour or so. Still going over here at 10 amps. So we're going to check the temps again. Temp of the charging port is 74. Temperature on the battery pack, 86. Definitely warming up. The wire going into the battery from the controllers where the thermal paste is, uh, it's only at 76. It's like the controller itself is at 76. I'm gonna guess ambient temperature in the room is about 72. Looks like we got 78 here. It's okay, so battery is definitely the hottest component. Battery cells are heating up. And for all you European blokes, it's like 30 to 32 degrees Celsius, depending on where you take the reading in the battery pack. So we got five amps coming into each charging port here, and that's split into two wires, and those two wires go into the controller. And I don't know what happens inside the controller, but it comes out of the controllers in these wires here. There's one wire for each controller. It looks like the middle gets hotter than the edges. Got 85 there. 80 back there, or 85 there. And the middle is 90. So that's pretty interesting. It's also worth noting that it matters whether or not your charging ports go directly into your battery and then the battery into the controllers, or if like in this Wolf Warrior, your chargers go into the controller and then into the battery. So we're at 91 degrees. This is probably gonna be really similar for most high-end scooters. I'm gonna, I'd wager a bet that any scooter over $2,000 has a pretty similar battery as far as the build goes. The voltage readout is at 64, and I think it stops at 67 or 68, so it's pretty much just about done. I guess this is a good way to tell. Yep, 95%. We got 75 here, 76. Controllers are pretty cool. Wiring going into the controllers is slightly hotter. And the edge of the battery is 81 or 80. And I think that's because the heat can dissipate off the edges faster. But towards the middle of the battery where it's surrounded by other hot cells, it's definitely warmer. Oh, now it's only reading 87, 88. Okay guys, I guess that about wraps it up. The top temperature on the scooter was like 91 or 92 degrees. Uh, again, this is just for the Wolf Warrior where we've got 16 cells in series and 10 in parallel. So it's important that you do the math for your device before you figure out exactly how much charging you wanna do. All right, there you have it folks. You saw it for yourself. If you have two five amp fast chargers, on a scooter like a Cobble Wolf Warrior where you've got 10 parallel lines of batteries, the most you're gonna see is 90 degrees Fahrenheit, or 92, I guess. But that's a far cry from the 120 degrees that's required before you start seeing any sort of battery degradation or electronic melting, right? So I think Ginger on Wheels assessment is that it is safe to charge your device at one amp per parallel line, or in the case of the Cobble Wolf Warrior, 10 amps total. Now, if you enjoyed this video, you found it useful and you can apply it to your real life, make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video and I'll see you guys next time for the next one. Thanks.